University uh, Avenue, uh, San Diego, California. We're in front of Riches, which is a nightclub that offers different types of entertainment and music. Uh, this is the curious case of Seaman Jose Antonio Rodriguez. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Seaman Jose Antonio Rodriguez. I'm a sailor in the United States Navy. I, uh, what I do in the Navy is basically I'm a bosun mate. Uh, I was stationed in the USS Peleliu. I There I did uh, bosun mate work, uh, meaning I would uh, anchor the ship, steer the ship. I also took a very high profile job on the ship. Uh, I was E2 and I took on an E5 job. I did flawlessly in the job. I reached every goal they asked for. Um, all that was taken away from me, the tragedy that I suffered from. Now, I've been medically removed from my command and placed in TP orders to uh, Lindu orders to uh, recover from my trauma, which I have yet to begin dealing with. So what was your trauma? Uh, the trauma, I was sexually assaulted by a group of men back in June of 08. And with that, that being said, I have yet to even begin recovery from the trauma. Did the Navy put you immediately into a, a sexual assault response program? They did not. Um, I asked. I asked for help. Uh, when I was in the hospital, I had a request uh, assistance. I was still very confused. I didn't know where I was at. Uh, I requested a SAR. I did get a SAR uh, rape victim uh, to come and speak for me at the hospital. Uh, she answered questions and she dealt with the hospital for me until I was able to know where I was at and what I was doing. So I understand, Jose, that you initially went to a civilian hospital, Mercy, and you were uh, assisted there. But what happened at Mercy? When I read them at Script Mercy Hospital, um, I did go up to the counter and tell them, Hi, uh, I'm a sailor in the Navy, and I've been raped. With that, with that asked them, will all, my confident, will all my records be confidential? And they stated, yes, they are. We do not give this information unless you sign paperwork stating that uh, we can release the paperwork. I then proceeded to tell them my background and uh, let them know what happened to me. They took me into the emergency room. And, with, and then when I started talking to the doctors and telling them a little bit about me, showing them my injuries, they basically looked at it and weren't paying attention to me anymore. They saw my private areas where I was bleeding and cut, and they didn't even bother to take pictures. And I asked them to take pictures, and they wouldn't. Um, then they had doctors do uh, their work, basically blood tests, analysis, and uh, after that, said the doctor came back and gave me the results of what came out on, the, on, the, on their tests. And uh, they basically pushed me off to the side when they had the results. With that, when uh, I asked them, would you please contact my man, let them know that I'm here at the hospital. They sent a VM one, and uh, he was the one on duty. He had nothing to do with medical. He then um, checked with me. I said I'm okay. The staff said we can only tell you that he's alive and he'll recover. He asked me what happened. Uh, the SAR victim had already, the SAR rape victim had already arrived, and. She told him, we cannot let you know much information yet, and we prefer for you to stay outside when doctors come in to uh, <laughs> My command for help, I was getting harassed by sailors after they had been uh, told, hey, let's let this go. Hey, do not harass him. Hey, you know, he's coming back to work. At quarters, the morning I arrived back from my leave. I'm showing up for the first time, and I'm telling myself, 
I don't remember what happened to me. I want to go back to do what I was doing and work hard and, you know, keep myself busy and forget everything that I went through because, you know, nobody needs to know what happened to me. I just want to get back doing to what I was doing. I show up to that muster and in that muster, my master chief is telling my whole department, this sailor's been violated. This sailor's civil rights were violated. Please, help us. He's your shipmate. Do not harass him. If people start talking about him, step up for him. He is our shipmate. Step up for him. After that conversation, my nerves went to a crush. I was a nervous wreck. I didn't know what to even think. I didn't know what was going to happen now. I was, again, like in a shock. Why they would have done that to me? Basically, they just ripped my heart out right there. The Navy crushed my dreams right then when they announced to me and to everyone around me what happened to me. They told, they told what happened to me. And they crushed me. They crushed me because no one needed to know that I was violated. No one needed to know that I was taken advantage of. Yes, they could have had a maybe little meeting later on and said, yes, civil rights is something that we do have to watch. But why are you gonna go and lecture someone? If you're trying to show me, you're trying to do something about what happened to me, tell me, don't tell everybody. Don't tell everybody my personal life. Because there, you basically, out it a person. Out it the fact that they were violated by men. And now that's crushed me to this moment. People persist. persist. <laughs>